You may know her through her books or through her shows at Bryant Lake Bowl. But if you haven't heard of Twin Cities author and actress Lorna Landvik, or if you just want to see her again, you've got a chance all month to go party in the rec room. I love that. We're so happy to have Lorna joining us now. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, I want to talk about uh, your books because a lot of people know you from these books. Best to Laugh, Mayor of the Universe. Angry Housewives Eating Bonbons. When <laughs> when did you start? When did you start writing and say I, I really feel like I, this is what I want to do? I started writing when I learned how to read in first grade, and I thought that's what I want to do. Pretty but, good gig, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, but I always liked to perform too, so I thought if I can combine the two, all the more fun. When did the acting come into it? Were you just kind of always a performer as a kid, and then ended up in plays? I was, and I was the youngest in my family, the only girl, so I learned pretty easily that laughs are a way out of physical violence. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many brothers? Three. Three brothers? Yeah. How much older? Um, close in age. My close eldest in age. brother's seven years older. Sure, so the they age. just wanted to pound on you. Right. Right. And so, to get attention, you've got to... If you can make them laugh, you can disarm them. I yeah. love it. And so you have your show, Party in the Rec Room. How did you come up with that name, by the way? Well, I have done a lot of improvisation. I used to be with Dudley Riggs, and I thought, what would it be like to have a show where it's just me and no one else to rely on? And I thought, well, it'd kind of be a party. So I decided that the audience would be my party guests. Um, the conceit is that the theater is my rec room. I make margaritas on stage, and Ooh. then their suggestions Create the characters. Oh, mind. fun! Yeah. So it's a combination of improv, and you have some kind it's of. It's all improv. It's all improv. Yeah. For instance, uh, Friday night I opened, and I got a suggestion. I said, "Give me a uh, an emotion." Someone yelled, "Frustration!" Give me a movie you want to see. Everest. Give me a profession you wish you had gone into. Ballet. So I went backstage. I grabbed some props, and I turned out to be a. Uh, Ballerina in toe shoes climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> oh. yeah. She wasn't successful. Not so good, no. Oh. Her tutu was frozen. <laughs> it has to be a lot of fun for you, too, because with the improv, I mean, it's it's writing kind of, you know, in, the, in that exactly. moment. And then each show for you is different, too. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and sometimes I am backstage thinking, what, what, what am I going to do? do? <laughs> right. But I have to know something. There is a certain personality type, I think, that is okay with kind of, you know, flying without a net mm -hmm. and being able to go into a show, and you don't know what the audience is going to yell out, but you know it's still going to be a good show. Yes. Well, you don't That's know. That's my goal. Maybe it won't be. <laughs> that is Some maybe are better than others, <laughs> right? Right. Some maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can always blame the audience there for giving you bad go. ideas. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're the worst. Well, if you want to be part of those, think of the, the most annoying suggestions you can make, and then you can go yell them out at Lorna at a Party in the Rec Room. It's every Friday and Saturday night at 7. Yes. Bryant Lake Bowl is such a fun place to see a it's show. A that great place. That yeah. theater is really cool. And then you go outside and bowl. Yeah. Or drink right. or eat yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So WCCO.com slash links for more information on the tickets. Thanks, Lorna. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year.